What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today marks one year since I quit my retail job and honestly I couldn't be happier. This year has been one hell of a learning experience and I'm happy to say I am back to work and I'll be explaining that near the end of the video of what I am doing now and in the future I'll be giving you guys updates on what I'm doing currently. So I'm just going to recap of what happened prior to me quitting my retail job, then what I decided I wanted to do after I quit, leading up to what I am doing currently right now. So, you guys might remember back whenever I quit my job, I was explaining in previous videos at that time that what was happening at work, what my situation was, I made videos on why I quit my job, what I was doing afterwards, and long story short, I was full-time working at Canadian Tire Parts and Service. I honestly loved what I did. I learned a lot the five years that I was there. Um, I basically helped customers get the right parts for them and help out the mechanics in the shop, get them what they need, and I honestly loved doing that, but the owners didn't appreciate me enough, I always felt. I was full-time about 44 hours a week, and out of nowhere, we had new owners come, and about six to eight months after they took over, my hours went from 44 hours a week down to 20 and sometimes even 15. So my hours got cut in half, and I don't know why. They didn't tell me why. I asked them multiple times. No answers, and they never told me that my hours are guaranteed to go up anytime soon. My hours were like that for six months, and over that six months, I just started to more and more hate my job, hate my life, hated the fact that I'm there, and I don't know what I want to do with my life. I was 21 at the time, so honestly didn't know what I wanted to do, didn't know what direction I wanted to go. So I just put up with it for the six months and I absolutely hated it. And I knew I needed to get out. So then my 22nd birthday happened, which is in May. And from that point on, just two days after my birthday, I became physically sick to the point that I couldn't go to work. I was sick for two weeks. So that sucked from number one, having low hours for the six months and then becoming sick and two weeks without pay sucked. It was terrible and I wanted to just get back to work even though it was crappy hours. I just wanted some income coming in. I wanted some money coming in. Even though it was only 15, 20 hours a week, I needed a little bit of money. That's, that's my main goal was just to earn a little bit of money. Upon feeling better, becoming 100%, I went back to work in the first week I was supposed to return, went back to work and they cut my hours for the entire week and told me don't bother showing up until the end of the week. So not only was I sick for two weeks with no pay, uh, they cut my hours, they cut my third week when I was supposed to return, they cut that whole week. So uh, at that point I was just tired of it, tired of being mistreated, tired of working there. I liked what I did. I liked the few people that I worked with, a handful of them I liked and enjoyed going to work and seeing and talking to. And I still communicate with a lot of them to this day, maybe two, three of them at least. But being sick for that two weeks and coming back and getting treated like that whenever I was sick, it to me is uncalled for. And that made me realize that there's no purpose of me being there anymore. And it was time to quit. So I remember walking in, quitting, they were upset, they were pretty pissed, but I was happy because it was a weight lifted off my shoulders. So I was happy that I finally did what I had to do and I should have done it sooner. And that was to quit my retail job. After quitting my retail job, I made videos on this as well through my journey of doing it. And that is my security guard course, which as soon as I quit, that's when I started it. So it kind of worked out for the best that when I became sick and ended up having to, well, in my words, having to quit because I just couldn't take it anymore. I immediately started my security guard course. And from that, I did my first aid, did my exams, and it took about two, maybe two and a half months to get everything situated from start to finish. Then I had to wait for my license to come in, but at the end of my security guard course is when I learned about the CBSA and I realized the security, the security guard um, position is something that I'm interested in, 
but CBSA for me is a goal of a career that I want to get in. So I really set my focus on CBSA. I started finishing everything I needed to do for Security Guard and then started for CBSA. So I started applying and getting ready for that. It took a couple months for me to get my Security Guard license and then that leads us up to December. At that point, I was looking for a vehicle, started making calls, going to dealerships, trying to find something because if I'm going to get a job as a security guard for now, before I start CBSA, I need a way to get to work. That to me made sense. It took two months for me to get a vehicle. That was this past February, whenever I got my truck and I loved it. I started applying for security guard right away and at the point of me getting my truck, I actually applied for CBSA. Within two weeks of me applying for CBSA, I got selected to take their exam, their entrance exam, and I was extremely happy because I thought CBSA is starting and it's creeping upon me really quick, but faster than I expected. Whenever I took my CBSA entrance exam, which is a month after I applied, I ended up failing. And I did mention that in videos as well. This whole journey this past year, I've been sharing with you guys in videos and explaining the whole process of everything I did from the time I quit up until currently. And uh, so yeah, I filled my entrance exam for CBSA, but that's not the end of the world. I'll be able to take it again, February, 2020. So I decided to focus on getting a security guard job for now to tide me over until I get back into the CBSA mind. So. I started applying for security guard and I did share this in videos as well that I had a couple interviews set up and I actually got hired recently, uh, not too long ago actually, and it was for security guard at a casino which is about an hour away from me, which a lot of people said no, no point in going there, but where I live there's no security around me, no security jobs available and the drive there honestly is great, <laughs> they have no problem driving there, I love it, it's an easy drive in. so. Why not? That leads me up to where I am right now. I'm still in training. I've been here about, well, I'm not sure when I'm going to upload this. So as the time I'm recording it, I've been here training for two weeks. But by the time I upload this video, it may be a month and I might be finished my training and I might just be working there. So it depends on when I actually decide to upload this video. But as of right now, working back there, at least the training part of it, I honestly love my job love my life right now and it made me really open my eyes and realize that quitting my retail job one year ago was well worth it if i hadn't of quit my job if they haven't if they weren't cutting my hours like they were and i didn't decide to quit my job i wouldn't be where i am today and that is extremely happy i'm loving life love my job i love my coworkers i love my family i love everything right now i'm happier than i've ever been in my life and that is where I feel I needed to be because back then, I'll be honest, I was depressed, stressed out financially, not knowing what to do, not knowing a direction of where I wanted to go and take my life and take a career. And I thought I was going to stay at Canadian Tire for a long time because I was full time. And to be honest with you, if I was still full time there, I would have stayed because I kind of liked my coworkers. I liked what I did. I loved the community and helping out the community whenever they came in for parts for their vehicles and such. So I love that aspect of it, but being treated the way I was, it to me was apparent that it was time to go and move on to bigger and better things. And that's what I did. Instead of me having a minimum wage job right now, I am making just under 17 an hour, which is incredible. Being 23 and making that kind of money, didn't think it was gonna be possible for me, but I love what I do. A couple months from now, it will be going up to 18 something an hour, and a year after me being there, it's gonna be 20 something an hour. So I'm not saying this to brag, saying I'm making more than minimum wage. I'm just saying it because to me, it means and it proves that I'm going in the right direction with life. I'm not still at my dead end job making minimum wage, which to me, there's nothing wrong with that if you are in that position right now. But for me, I had to get out because I knew that I could be doing bigger and better things. And I'm glad everything that happened back a year ago or even before that. And even though I was depressed back then and hated my life, I'm glad everything back then happened because if it didn't, 
I wouldn't be where I am today. I wouldn't have the mindset of in the future, I'm going to be doing a CBSA, which I'm extremely happy and proud of. My family is even freaking proud of me with my whole progress over this past year of doing my security guard course and everything and preparing myself for CBSA and landing this job, this incredible job right now. And knowing that even though I have this great job right now and I'm excited and I love doing it, that I still have goals for CBSA in the future, even though I failed my exam in February, I'll be able to take it again in February, 2020. And even if I were to fail that exam the second time, I'll still be able to take it again in 2021 and wait another year, take it again and just try. And for me, I'm still young. So even though I, if I do fail next year, if I fail the one after that, I'm okay with that because I'm still young. Whenever I get in, it'll be worth the wait. And I'm just happy right now that everything in my life is going in the right direction. I have a career, I love my family, I have a great job right now, which I still am going to be going for CBSA. And that's that's the main thing. Whenever I got this job is people were saying, are you going to give up on CBSA? And the answer to that is no, I have no intention on giving up. I do have a great job right now. But I'm still feel like I could further it even more and go into CBSA, which is a dream of mine. And I want to make that dream a reality. But until then, I'm still going to be working at the security guard job. I love doing it. I'm still in training as of right now, but depending on when I upload this video, I might be finished my training and just working there. So I'm extremely excited to see where this takes me now, but I wanted to share how this last year has been, even though I've shared it in previous videos and kind of broke up and in more depth, more in depth. I want to share the whole year in one video and sum it up for you guys. So now that I'm working security, I am going to be giving you guys updates on that, I can't give you guys specifics on the jobs or what happens through the day, but if you guys are interested in knowing a little bit more what I do for security at the casino and how the tasks are, how it's been going for me, comment down below and in the future I might make a video talking about it, but I just wanted to share how this last year has been. So I'm going from a year ago when I was in a terrible mindset and hated my life and hated my job and hated everything to now being extremely happy and I just love my life. I love my job, I love my coworkers, love my family, love everything. So just one year can make a difference, can change your life drastically. And I'm happy it happened and everything happens for a reason. And I hope you guys did enjoy. If you stayed through this video, it was kind of long. I wasn't expecting it to be this long, but I wanted to sum up my year and just share how happy I am in life right now. So thank you guys for watching. It means the world to me. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll update you along the way with my security job right now. But thank you for watching. Thank you for being a part of my family. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.